Hello friends, today we'll learn about Newton's third law of motion. Isaac Newton gave his third law of motion in the 17th century, which came out as one of the most influential laws in the world. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. It means that if a body A exerts a force, F1, on a body B, and the body B exerts a force, F2, on body A, then F1 equals F2. That is, they're equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Whenever two bodies interact, they will exert equal and opposite forces on each other. Ah, you look confused. Let me make it easier for you. There are so many examples of Newton's third law of motion in the environment. If you observe closely, you can find it everywhere and anywhere. Hmm, see this cannonball? When it is fired through the air by explosion, the cannon is pushed backward. The force pushing the ball out is equal to the force pushing the cannon back. But the effect on the cannon is less visible because its mass is much larger. When you walk in the park, while walking, you push the ground in the backward direction, and the ground in return pushes you in the forward direction, thus making you walk. Oh wow, look at this cute bird flying in the sky. Newton's third law helps birds to fly. See how? Wings of birds exert a downward force on the air. The air also exerts an equal and opposite force which pushes birds in an upward direction. This action-reaction combination helps birds to fly in the air. Think about your swimming class. You push the water backwards with your hands, and in return the water pushes you forward, thus enabling you to go forward during swimming. Oh, you want to go home riding your bike? See how Newton's law applies to this. When you push the pedal, the parts of the tire which touch the ground pushes it backward. Ground also pushes the tires forward with the same force. So the parts of tires on Earth form an action and reaction. So what happens to Earth when your tires are applying force to push it backwards? <laughs> Nothing happens, since the Earth is very big as compared to your bike. Force applied by your tires does not move it backwards, but force applied by the Earth pushes it forward. Now you know a lot about Newton's third law of motion. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.